Now, this is more like it, Parker. Exclusive pictures of the chameleon. No one even knew he was back in this country. You deserve a big bonus for this. Miss Brandt, open the safe and give Parker one of my own personal bars of milk chocolate. Quote, J. Jonah Jameson. Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, Issue 15. Craven the Hunter. Spider-Man swings down and catches a group organizing a bank robbery. And upon dropping in unexpectedly, a man escapes in a puff of smoke and changes his costume him until he can hide. The criminal the criminal actually was the chameleon in disguise, and he plots to rid the world of Spider-Man. The chameleon comes up with the idea of contacting his friend, Craven the Hunter. Parker finds this out firsthand when taking photographs for the Daily Bugle as Craven arrives by boat. When they arrive there, Peter runs into Liz Allen and Flash Thompson. Betty is instantly upset to see Liz Allen there, and Jameson scolds them for socializing on the job. That's when Craven comes off the ship. Jonah tries to find out why he comes to America. That's when some of his wild animals break loose. Peter slips away to change into Spider-Man and catch the animals, but the wall call arrives on the scene. Craven has rounded up the animals up. Changing back into civilian identity, Peter is then scolded by Jameson for not getting photos of Craven in action. Once again, Jameson asks Craven why he has come to America. This time, the man explains that he has come to hunt Spider-Man. Later, Craven meets the chameleon, and the pair begin to plan the coming hunt for Spider-Man. As Craven begins to drink a glass of his jungle brew, later Craven tracks down the wall crawler, finding the masked hero as he is rounding up a gang of crooks. Craven studies Spider-Man's fighting style by organizing a robbery for Spider-Man to stop. He finally comes out of hiding and fights Spider-Man. But as he swings past a nearby rooftop, Spidey's spider sense detects another presence, an evil presence. And so, reading Spider-Man's, I've been looking forward to our first meeting, which shall only also be your last last meeting with anybody. Craven. Ah, you know me. How how unusual. It isn't often that my defeated jungle foes know the name of the one who vanquished them. What's the angle, mister? How come you're anti-Spider-Man? I am a hunter. Hunting is my entire life, but there were no more goals for me to strive for until I learned of you. You shall be my greatest triumph. You didn't expect me to be so fast. Boy, now I'm in for it. He's the worst kind of enemy. A nut who fights you just for the sheer fun of it. Ugh, this is what I was afraid of. You're too easy to defeat. And now, I'll end your career forever with one of my smashing nerve punch. The same punch that can down a full-grown charging rhino. I've got to turn block it with my shoulder. Ow! Good. You saved yourself, but only for a minute. Now I'll... My shoulder went numb. I can't afford to give him a second chance. Okay, Buster. If it's a real fight, you won. He's stronger than I thought. Even with one hand, he's beating me. I can't defeat him fairly. But if I can manage to nick him with one of my special potions weapons. Ah, I did it. Hey, something scratched me. You're not gonna beat me like that, Craven. I feel kind of woozy. That was more than a simple scratch. He got some sort of potion in my bloodstream. But what? What is it? Then as Spider-Man releases his savage foe for an instance, Craven races away with a triumphant cry, ringing from the sneering lips. I've won, Spider-Man. My potion will weaken you enough for me to beat you any time I desire. But I'll prolong my enjoyment. I'll finish you off another time. I'll let you go for now. I've got to clear my head. I'm getting dizzier by the minute. I'll just grab my camera from where I left it and try to make it home. The next few minutes, the amazing teenager slowly and cautiously hugs the rooftops on his journey home. And then finally, whew, my shoulder is getting battered back to normal. But now I can't lose this dizziness. Spider-Man retreats to fight another day. Pete, however, begins to get the shake so bad that he can't hold a test tube or shoot a web straight. He tracks Craven's future location by attaching a spider tracer and is led into a nearby forest where he faces Craven. There he is, but it almost seems too easy, and my spider sense feels different somehow, as though it isn't sure. I don't get it. What's happening to me? Why am I so uncertain? Well, I'll worry about those things later. My main problem now is how do I plant my spider tracer on Craven without him knowing it? But wait, what's this? Are there two Cravens or how simple it was to bait the trap for my unwary game? No wonder Craven is the greatest hunter of all time. And now the quarry has made his last fatal mistake. 
The stage is set. The moment has arrived. It's time for the attack. Now the hunter takes over the hunt. It's strange. Craven is wa walking almost as though he knows someone is following him. I don't like it. Everything is too quiet, too calm. And my spider sense is warning me. But of what? He's starting to get suspicious now. But it's too late. The trap is sprung. And net falling over me. But from where? How? I've got to dive out from under. No, I'm too late. What can it be made of? Even my spider strength. I can't rip it. But I mustn't panic. There's always a way out. I have to think. Think. And so the brilliant brain of the ace scientist student begins to work at lightning speed. The same brain which Flash Thompson has mocked so many times. The magnificently trained brain which quickly comes up with the answer in the nick of time. I've got one chance. They say a chain is one as strong as his link, weakest link in a net of this type. With so many joining, there must be at least one weak link. Now, all I have to do is I must exert all the pressure I can against each section until, ah, I found it. One small section with rifles back slightly under the tension, creating an opening. Now, by exerting maximum presence at this very spot, I can make the opening large enough for me to roll out of. But just as Spider-Man makes a dash for freedom, the beating of a jungle drum distracts him confusing for a split second making him uncertain which way to run those drum beats so loud penetrating going right into my brain an old jungle trip confused the enemy taking advantage of spider-man's brief pause craven attacks with the speed of a savage panther ha the most dangerous game of all and i craven have caught you don't kid yourself mister those metal charm bracelets won't be able to hold spider-man wrong my boastful foe they'll even hold a hungry mad tiger but my fists will do the rest what where'd you go up here craven i have to watch a man making a fool of himself say these are more than just iron mechanicals they have some sort of magnetic attraction they're trying to pull my wrist and ankle together together getting stronger all the time and they have a small built-in bell that jingles when i move old craven doesn't miss a trick there's no hope for spider-man my escape proof cuffs get stronger every minute and the only key is the one i wear around my neck ah uh, so you want to run a little longer huh good this is the type of sport i enjoy the most it may be a sport to him, but I forgot to figure out a way to get these uncanny handcuffs off me before they completely drain all my strength. You can't hide from me, Spider-Man. Now when I hear that belt jangle every time you move, can't separate my arm and leg, can't fight Craven with one arm, there must be a way out. Luckily, my spider skins can still help me escape Craven's net, but how long can strength hold under these conditions? Keep struggling the longer it takes, the greater will be my victory when I finally defeat you. But summoning all his remaining spider strengths, the teenage adventurer reaches a lamppost and containing a wiring circuit box these massive wires are what i want if i tear them a certain way the park will be plunged into darkness now here in the shadowy gloom the advantage is mine due to my spider senses no matter how it hurts i've got to pull my wrist away from my ankle Whew. i dodge craven's net just in time these bland bells keep giving it away i've got to silence them somehow wait i've got it what a nut i am if i can tear them off i can at least shut them up all i need to do is spill my liquid web fluid over them it worked now it's my turn to do a little stalking there's my old spider sense again someone's hiding behind these hedges didn't expect the worm to turn up okay craven this is a showdown the chameleon so that's why there seem to be two cravens you are impersonating the real one you haven't won yet spider-man craven is still hunting for you and nothing that lives can escape him for long i'll have my revenge on you yet and not far away from the very spot i don't hear any bells spider-man thinks he can trick me by not moving but all I have to do is keep on searching this area. Then suddenly, if you're looking for me, pal, I'm right behind you. Spider-Man. But how? Recognize this craven. It belongs to your friend of yours. He got the chameleon. I've got to get away. Hide long enough to devise a new hunting plan. He'll never find me in the woods. There's no jungle trick I haven't mastered. Craven the hunter still can't be beaten. Spider-Man is probably still wandering around in circles down below trying to guess where I disappeared to. Little does he dream that I'm much at home in the dark as in the jungle creature. Soon he'll realize he has no chance of finding me and then his spider beam shining right on me. How did he do it? It was just a lucky break, but I'll lose him for good. Now as I dash at a breakneck speed through the shrubbery in the shadows. Nice try, Craven. You make a real dandy butterfly collector. He found me again. It's impossible. I've been a fool. I underestimated that a cursed spider instinct of his, but now I'll outmaneuver him. I still got the speed of a cheetah, the cunning of a fox, and the ferocity of a tiger. The final victory must be mine. He's coming now for the oldest jungle trick of all. No more moving, no more breathing. I'll be part of the rock playing dead until the moment to strike. Oh, no, you don't. Stay still, Blasty. My nerve punch will finish you off. I have to be party poop this time. I'm calling the signals. 
Craven. How does it feel to be on the receiving end of a change of a great white hunter? You're mocking me? No one can do that and live. Once I have you trapped in my net, I'll know, but he can move as fast as that. It's not human. Maybe not, but it's very definitely spider. I've lost the advantage. I've tried every attack, every trick I know, but he turned them all against me. Where are you going? The jail is in the other direction. I've got to run, got to escape. Mustn't let him get to me. I don't want to be caught, not by him. And so the hunter becomes a hunted, eh, Craven? Another web, this one, strung between two trees. I can't push through it. And like that, all those who flee in blind panic and unreasoning fear and cowardice, the hunter, at last, is caught. Craven and the chameleon are then deported with Craven swearing revenge upon Spider-Man. No, Craven the hunter, first appearance. Anna Mae Watson, first appearance. Mary J. Watson, mentioned. This story is later retold from the perspective of Craven in Sensational Spider-Man Annual 1996. The chameleon recounts his first battle with Spider-Man that happened in Spider-Man number one. This is the first mention of Mary Jane in the series. Although she won't appear for the first time until Amazing Spider-Man 25, Peter keeps dodging dates with Mary Jane until he finally meets her in Amazing Spider-Man 42. This story recounts how Spider-Man first used his spider tracer in Amazing Spider-Man issue 11. Next issue, Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, Issue 16, Duel with the Daredevil.